Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, good morning. I'm just coming from... I'm just coming from church. I'm coming from church and um, you know the theme of uh, the readings today was about forgiveness you know the theme of the readings today was about forgiveness was about not you know avenging and um, uh, the gospel was about um, you know the um, Jesus saying you know forgive forgive uh, seven times at times 70 and uh, when I was in church reflecting I kept on thinking about uh, by Emelina Kavanshi the former minister for uh, community development I know we we have laws that is a fact we have laws and when you break the law uh, you are taken to court and uh, when the court then the court sentences you you're supposed to save that um, uh, sentence but when you look at uh, Emelina Kavanshi look at the evidence that was given in court and um, and let's put ourselves in our in our shoes by Melina Kavanshi, for those of you who might not know, uh, by Melina Kavanshi, she has been jailed because uh, she bulldozed the ministry to award the contract of distributing social cash transfer to um, to to Zampost. Now, Zampost is government. So basically what happened was that before social cash transfer was being uh, given to some agents, some people, you know, the ministry used to get people and these people would go would go in the compounds and start distributing social cash transfer. So what happened was that, uh, what used to happen was that uh, sometimes uh, these agents would go, instead of giving a, a person 100 kwacha, 150 kwacha, they would give them 100 kwacha, whatever, whatever. There was corruption, there was abuse, and Emelina Kavanshi, wanted a better solution and the better solution that they came up with was that they give to zampost and then these people would go to zampost and get the money from zampost okay so her idea her intention was really to help the situation so that the poor people are not uh, uh, deprived of their little resources the social cash transfer that was that was our intention and she thought zampost would be the best um, institution to distribute that social cash transfer so it is not that emelina kavan she wanted to take advantage of social cash transfer no emelina kavan she wanted to help the situation she wanted to help the situation she wanted that zampost a government institution be the one to distribute and she hoped that uh, through that that the poor people will be able to get their their money other than what used to happen where somebody used to go with money in the bag and sometimes they don't distribute the money 
but Kavanshi said let us bring in an institution that is Zampost of course the process the process was not properly followed she just bulldozed it i'm sure in her mind is that you know this is the government institution and this is a good decision and she bulldozed it but today the court has actually found her guilty that you abused your powers by bulldozing that zampost be given the contract now this is a different situation from whereby ministers would, would, would bulldoze a, a contract to be given to a friend so that a friend can can in turn give them uh, some some kickbacks this is not a situation here this is a government institution and Marina Kavanshi was not pushing this contract to go to Zampost so that uh, she can get a kickback no Z I mean Zampost is audited Zampost is, is audited. It's a government institution. So you cannot say, you know, she was pushing this agenda so that she can get something. No. So from my point of view, it was just, um, uh, I think our intentions were good. Unfortunately, it was executed wrongly. And now she has to go to jail. Now, I know that by Medina Kabanshi, by the way, her health is not has not been very good. It's, it hasn't been very good. But let me not try to draw sympathy on, on our health or issues. I just want to say, I think she doesn't deserve to serve this sentence. It's true there was an abuse. But look, let's look at this case, you know, um, on its merit. Let's look, at, let's look at the intention of this woman. This woman was trying to save... The situation better unfortunately she didn't follow the law which could have been out of ignorance which could have been you know uh, feeling you know that she's powerful she's a minister she can do whatever but she didn't want to steal money from the poor and for that reason i am appealing to president haka in the and i remember even president haka in the during that time he also said that amerina kavanshi has been sacrificed you remember when this was happening there was so much talk about corruption there was so much talk about corruption and emerina kavanshi you know was sacrificed to show that the pf at that point they were fighting corruption that they were even uh, you know um able to uh to do what to 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 arrest a minister at that time there was too much talk about the corruption of avena chitaluchirufia avena nani at chitotela you know there was a lot of talk around that time there was that there was that talk there was that pressure i feel president edgar chagwalungu was under pressure to prove to the donor community that he meant to fight corruption that he wanted to fight corruption and Emelina Kabanshi was used as a, an example. Emelina Kabanshi was used as an example, especially that she was a woman and she didn't pose any threat. You know, she didn't have, she, she, Emelina Kabanshi ne, never hired hooligans to go with her to the law enforcers. Emelina Kabanshi never hired hooligans to go with her to police. You never saw Emelina Kabanshi kukoti with the with uh you know cadres you never saw that she's a good woman from my point of view she's a good woman but her president haka in the please you remember this these this incidents very well you do remember i am urging you my elder brother please consider by emelina kamans she's not a criminal like those criminals you want we know there are criminals that were awarding contracts to themselves, awarding contracts to their friends, and they got a lot of money. Emelina Kavanshi never got money. Emelina Kavanshi is poor. Even if you search her, you won't find money in bank accounts, you won't find properties, you won't. You won't. The poor woman was just trying to do her job. She was just trying to do something better for the poor. Unfortunately, she executed it wrongly. And there was a fight between herself and the, the PS. 
this is why this thing is like this because of the the rivalry that was there between uh, Medina Kabanshi and uh, and um, and the, uh, the 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 PS at that point. But nonetheless, me today at our church we were talking about forgiveness. I am praying, please. I am really praying that my President Aka Ishlema, you would consider the situation of Medina Kavansha. I know there are a number of people in prison who are unjustly in prison, but I don't know them. I can't speak for them. Medina Kavansha, I'm speaking for her, not for anything. She's not my friend. She's not my relative. I'm just speaking out of, you know, pity out of justice that please, 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 can we consider by Medina Kavansha? And she's not a criminal like those criminals. But HH, you know that criminals are walking around. You know that criminals are enjoying the money that they looted. Why should this poor woman who never looted, who never got a way, be uh, 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 be saving two years or two years sentence? Please, 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 by, 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 by HH, and really, I mean, exercise some 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 leniency exercise some forgiveness you are because you are the, the president you are the president you know the the resources of this country are entrusted in your hands but this is not a person that stole money she didn't steal money emelina kaman she didn't steal money read the evidence read the judgment she didn't steal money she only bulldozed the 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 awarding of a contract to zampost and a government institution if money was stolen at zampost please let's follow those who stole money at zampost but from a marina kabanshi she didn't steal money now papa me i am really asking that president uh in the issue considers a marina kabanshi and pardons her I will talk about other things later on. I know but never soon, but then the party espionage uh, shan shan. We will talk about that in the in the evening. But for tonight, for this morning, I just wanted to uh, make this strong plea to by for by Medina Kavanshi. She's not a criminal. She just made a mistake and surely it she doesn't need to go uh, to jail for two years. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.